What is up guys? Welcome to Serial Nation. This is a new playlist that I'm planning on doing, a new series. Um, pretty much, I had an idea of doing this for a while. I wanted to do a playlist involving food and how much of a food fanatic I am. So pretty much this playlist will be consisting of taste tests, cooking videos, cooking shows kind of. Um, they'll have guest appearances by the way, that's all I'm saying. Uh, there's going to be food reviews, which, um, you know, is something I've been wanting to do for a while. So pretty much for this video right here, we're going to do a taste test for these two teas that uh, a special friend of mine, a special viewer, if I will, she requested me to um, do a taste test of these two teas, Red Diamond and one of these are sugar free zero calorie and one is all natural sweet tea don't know if you guys can see it um i'll put it close to the camera to see if you can see the flavors but yeah pretty much um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna taste test these right now because i've actually never had this tea before in my life surprising right i'm a huge tea guy but um i'm not too big on sweet tea I actually prefer um, iced tea, but the bottled kind, so like Nest Tea, Lipton, um, trying to think what else, I think there's like Grandma Sweet Tea, I don't know if you guys ever seen that, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to try this, to let you know what I think of this, if it's good or not, if it tastes good. We're going to start with the Sweet Tea uh, All Natural one first, I'm going to read the nutrition facts, it's got zero grams of total fat. 5 milligrams of sodium, 18 grams of total carbs, 17 grams of sugar, and 0 grams of protein. It's got no vitamins, it's got no minerals, and it's for two people, 70 calories. Let's do this. I'm hyped. We got a little background information on this saying that it was made since 1906, original blend, handcrafted tea leaves um, that are not made from powder, okay, so I'm like, some of the iced tea bottles that I've had are made from powder or liquid concentrate. So yeah, it's all natural. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm pretty excited to, to drink this. So, uh, there we go. All right, the moment of truth, guys. You ready? Wow. That is actually really good. <laughs> that is actually really good. I, yeah, yeah, I like this. Um, like I said, I'm not a huge sweet tea guy, but if you like sweet tea, this is good. This is some good stuff. Mm, yeah, I like it. That is some good stuff. All right. I give this, like I said, I'm not a huge sweet tea guy, but if I were to rate this, I would give this about a 9 out of 10. It does the job. I wasn't really expecting too much to begin with. I thought it would be a little bit too sweet, but it actually does the taste just right in my opinion. Yeah, the taste is perfect. So... Again, I don't want to give a solid 10 just because I'm not a huge sweet tea guy to begin with, so my opinion isn't 100% solid, but from what I've tasted, this is good. Definitely something you should buy. Now we're going to move on to the sugar-free version. Uh, this is made with Splenda, sweetened with Splenda. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm not a huge uh, sweetener guy. I don't really like uh, sweeteners too much. I actually prefer real sugar. So um, I got this just to compare the taste to see which one I will like more. But this, if you're going for a healthier option, which in my opinion, I don't really think is going to help if you buy zero calories. But if you think this will help in being healthier, then yeah, I guess... Uh, you could try this out. Um, let me see. This one is pretty much zero everything. It's only got five milligrams of sodium 
and one gram of total carbs. But yeah, pretty much besides that, it's the same exact thing. They give the same uh, history background, the same everything pretty much. Uh, ingredients, let me compare the ingredients. Instead of pure cane sugar, it uses Splenda and it has water sucralose. So I'm seeing some replacements over here. Sorry, by the way, that's my dog. I'll, uh, hold on. All right, I had to give him some kibble, but um, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking for this one too, and we're just gonna try it and see if it's as good as the regular sweet tea, if it's better or if it's just nah. So we're gonna try it. Um, man, this is kind of stiff. There you go. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this, to be honest. It tastes... It doesn't taste like it has sweeteners at all. It doesn't taste like it has Splenda. In fact, it doesn't even taste like a diet version. I'd say... I'd say this is one of those few drinks to where... The alternative is as good, or if not, close to the original. So, I give this an 8.7 out of 10. It's not as good as the original, of course. This does taste sweeter. So, if you want a taste that's more, uh, I, I, I don't know how do I say, I want to say like watery, but more, more of a watered down taste, then I say get the diet version, the zero calorie uh, Splenda version but if you just want to have some sweet tea pure that just tastes it has a good amount of sweetness it's not too sweet it's not too water ish I would go for the regular sweet tea red diamond but both versions are really good you can't go wrong with either version in my opinion because both taste pretty dang good for tea saying that Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Serial Nation, not Serial Nation, and um, like if you enjoyed this video, and if you want more of this series, I actually really enjoy doing videos like this. They probably won't be uploaded as often as my normal Serial, serial Nation videos, but um, I want to get these out as well for stuff that I can do, and if you have any recommendations for me to do for like taste tests or reviews, or if you want to see me make something, just comment down below. But as always, love you guys. Subscribe for more content. Click that bell for uh, notifications for my vids. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next one. Alright, peace out.